Have you ever wondered how to build an animated lower third like this in your Blackmagic software? Well, I'm about to show you right now. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and today I'm going to show you how to bring in an animated lower third using your Blackmagic Switcher software. So the first thing you're going to want to do is build the animated lower third. Now, next week I will be making a video on how to do that. Come back to this video and check the link or subscribe to my channel to be notified on when that video comes out. But today I've already made one for us to use, so I'll show you how to access that. The first thing you're going to want to do is come over here into your uh, library and select the animated lower third, which is right here, we've already built ours, and drag it into where it says clip one. I've already done this. It takes a little bit of time to load because it's an image sequence. So you can't bring in like a video file. You have to bring in an image sequence. So you have to burn out your video as different still images for it to be able to work to make an animated lower third using this technique. Once you've done that, you now need to go back over to your switcher tab, which you'll find at the bottom of your screen. Go to the media players choose media player one make sure that clip one is selected once you've selected clip one make sure you hit these two little uh, arrows here if you want your lower third to be able to loop if you just want it to play and then go right out because you already have the animation for uh, build in and build out already uh, pre-done inside of your lower third that's fine for me I want it to just continuously loop so I'm gonna hit the loop button and then I'm gonna hit the play button. So now if you look at the media player one over on our multi view, you will see that the animation has started to loop. Now we're going to go over to our next uh, tab and we're going to choose upstream key one and we're going to come down here where it says media player one, make sure media player one selected and for key, for fill source, it's media player one, for key source, make sure that it's media player one key. So that's going to allow us to be able to use the alpha channel built into our key. So when it comes up, it's just our lower third and we get rid of the background. Now what we want to do is click key one, make sure that we have our video uh, that we want it to go. So whatever our master shot is. So this is my master shot, me on the screen. So we're going to make sure that's set. That's camera two. Now, when I hit auto transition, you'll see in my preview that I now have my uh, lower third and me in the shot. Now, when I hit go, you'll now see it'll take to my live shot. And now I have an animated lower third that is continuously looping uh, for as long as I want it to be on screen. Now, if I want that to go away, I just hit uh, my transition button again and it fades out one, two, three. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to give this video a big thumbs up, share it with your friends, and most importantly, subscribe to this channel so you can stay up to date with all the tips and tricks I like to teach you. But most importantly, remember to always be you.